Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Patrick Malcolm. I'm the author of The Limit is When You Say Stop and the series of children's books, Peggy Tales. Down below, you'll find links to all my books. I created this channel as a space for individuals to come and hear some positive encouragements. In the days and times we are living, we do need positive encouragements. Thank you for stopping by. And remember, the limit is when you say stop. The sky is not the limit. The limit is when you say stop. Welcome to Tillerist. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you like the content you're getting here, I'm asking you please to like, share, and subscribe. And please leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Today I want to talk about finding the perfect one. Finding the perfect one. From the very first day we came into this world, we've been looking for the perfect one, starting with our parents. See, the relationship between a child and a parent will be determined on how the communication between the parent and the child, how the communication goes, okay? See, if a child approves of the parent's action, the child is gonna wanna communicate with the parent. And if the parent accuses of the child's actions, the parent will communicate with the child. For example, there are some parents who just don't know how to talk to their children, okay? They scream at them, they call them names, they put them down, they compare them to other kids, and they never support them, they never encourage them. See, in those relationships, you find that the, the child don't really go to the parent. They, they rather go to their friends or a stranger or another, another family member. Now, on the parent side, sometimes the child or the children, whatever, you know, they like to talk back. Yeah. And the parent sometimes don't stand for that. And that will create a rift between the two of them. Now, regardless of how you look at it, their level of communication is what's going to determine how successful their relationship is. Now, the same thing goes when you're looking for a wife, a husband, a mate, a partner, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, whatever title you want to give to it. It's the same thing. See, upon meeting a person, the very first stage of the relationship is physical attraction. You got to see that person. That person got to catch your eyes. Maybe you like the way they walk, the way they talk, the way they smile, the way they dress. You know, maybe just like the size of their body, you know, you know how voluptuous she may be how muscular he may be, whatever. But it's always a physical attraction that's going to get two people together in the first stages. After the physical, then we'll move to the mental. Okay, how you communicate with that individual, how you relate to that individual determines how much further you both will go. Now, sometimes you meet that person, right? And they possess like almost everything that you're looking for. But there's that one thing about them. That one thing. And you keep saying to yourself, if it wasn't for this, I would. You know? They weren't so selfish, I would commit to them. If they weren't so mean, I would probably go to the next level with that. You know? It's like that one thing that creates the hesitation. Now, the biggest mistake you could do with that is to get with that individual and tell yourself they're going to change. Uh -huh. You tell yourself they're going to change, you're setting yourself up for defeat, failure. A leopard never loses spots. Now, I'm not going to go to the extreme to tell you that people can't change. But you're gambling. That's high-state gambling. 
okay? So what is my solution? Find somebody who possess everything you're looking for. Yes, it sounds like impossible, but good things are not easy to find, okay? So it's gonna take a lot of work. It's gonna take a lot of time. But when you find a person that possess everything you're looking, you're looking for, and you gotta be realistic, okay? Now, that individual, say for example, you like to read. You find a person who likes to read. You like to go on trips. Find a person who likes to go on trips. You wanna have a house, maybe in the suburbs. Find a person who wants to live in the suburbs, okay? You wanna have two kids. Find a person who don't mind having two kids. You wanna start a business. Find a person who's business minded. See, think about it. If you wanna, if you're the person who likes to go on trip and you're with somebody who does not like to travel, that's a lot of problems right there, okay? If you're a person who likes to live in the suburbs and this person is just a city person that's a problem right there when you try to change someone who likes to live in a city to live in you know the country or or, 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 or or live in the suburbs you're asking for trouble you're asking for a whole bunch of discussions that you really don't want to have a whole bunch of uh you know arguments that can be avoided basically totally unnecessary if you had started from day one by finding somebody who possessed the same things that you're looking for. So you got to remember this. Whenever you meet a person, okay, and say they have everything that you're looking for, but they have that one thing that bugs, you know, bugs you all the time, remember, the further you go with that person, that one thing is going to become the biggest problem. And if you marry that person, now, time's up by a thousand. You got to ask yourself, can you live with it? Yeah. Because it's never going to go away. One of the biggest misconceptions, right, is when two people meet. And, when, you know, as one of the individual goes, okay, when I get into this relationship, this is what I'm going to do. And you set out telling yourself, I'm going to be the best version of myself. And you work towards being the best version of yourself. Yeah? But guess what? You never thought about it. You never thought about the other person. How are they going to be towards you? How are they going to react towards the best version of you? And sometimes, you don't normally get what you put out. It does not reciprocate. And you sometimes end up becoming the worst person in the relationship. Why? Because the actions of the other individual cause you to struggle, cause you to pull back. Sometimes it is so drastic that you will look in the mirror and ask yourself, how did I get here? How did I become this person? Yeah. Why? Because you cannot control the other individual you can only control yourself it doesn't matter what you tell them if they decide to do something different from your expectations which is what you get you're gonna have to live with it or live without it but as long as you're in that environment there's gonna be friction why because somebody's not being satisfied your needs are, are not being met Again, it goes back to you meeting a person that's got exactly what you're looking for. Some people may say, well, nobody's perfect. So you can't expect to find the right, the, the perfect person. Nope, that's not true. See, when people hear the word perfect, they start thinking about everything being perfect, okay? Perfection is subjective, okay? The things that some people are willing to live with, some people won't even think about it. Now, if you can find somebody who is willing to live with the things, okay, that you are willing to live with, that's the perfect one for you. They have the same goals. It's the perfect one for you. They like the same climate. You know, you like water, they like water. You like fast cars, they like fast cars. You like spicy foods, they like spicy foods. It's out there. You got to travel. 
You got to go out of your circles. You know, if you want something you never had before, you have to do something you never done before. If you stay in the same little town and try to find that individual, you may never find them. You got to spread your wings. You got to go out there. But to summarize everything that I have to say is this. When looking for the perfect person, find an individual who's got everything that you're looking for. Make a list of what you want. You can't give birth to what you never conceived. So if you never have an idea of what you're looking for, you may find it and it may slip away from you. So make a list, think about it and be realistic. And when you make that list, you never compromise on it. Because remember, the one little thing that you are opposed to in that relationship, if you go long-term with someone who possess that one little thing, it's going to become the biggest thing, the biggest problem in your relationship. And in the end, it's going to destroy your relationship. Oh yeah, it's going to destroy it. Be mindful of the people you give your heart to. Yeah? Be known for your greatness. And never compromise. Stick to your standards, but be realistic. And remember, the limit is when you say stop. The sky is not the limit. The limit is when you say stop. See you in the next video.